Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're noticing a blank screen when using the remote desktop connection utility that's built into Windows. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the start menu, open up the remote desktop connection here, if it's not already open, and now you want to go ahead and select the show options button down there. Select the display tab. You want to set the configuration to large to make sure it's all the way over. And once you have done that, you want to select the experience tab. And uncheck where it says persistent bitmap caching. So again, make sure you uncheck that. And then you would go ahead and keep this detect connection quality automatically. Make sure that's selected as well. That should be the default option there. So hopefully you don't have to adjust that. And then one more thing we do here after you've made those changes, go ahead and try and connect and see if that's resolved the problem. But if not, you can go open up the star menu, type in device manager. We're going to go ahead and open that up. And now we're going to expand the display adapter section. So double click on it and then whatever display adapter is listed under here you want to right click on it and select update driver select the search automatically for drivers and give it a moment here and if it says the best drivers are already installed you can click on close and then still go back into it and right click on the adapter and then select update driver this time select browse my computer for drivers and then select nubbing pick from a list of available drivers on my computer so if there's a more personalized one go with it that specifies to your hardware manufacturer otherwise if you only have the microsoft basic display adapter i guess that's okay as well and then just go ahead and select next here and then once it's done, close it here. I would suggest restarting your computer and then hopefully your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.